All right, welcome into the Collada and the Prince vlog here on Thursday's edition at Breaking News this morning, right in your corner of the office, Prince. Yeah, un- uh, unfortunately, we had to bump Kevin Falk because LSU picked up a five star offensive tackle commitment in Chidi Valentine Okiki. Uh, but uh, look, you know, for, uh, for the LSU fan base out there that was wondering if the staff was doing anything, uh, you look at it, and this is a significant pickup here. Uh, kudos to Jeff Grimes, a guy that he worked on uh, just tirelessly, relentlessly uh, in Chidi Valentine Okiki, and, and a guy that's at a position of need for LSU. 19 now in the class of 15. We're going into National Signing Day on Wednesday. Um, should be an ex- exciting finish for LSU down the stretch. Yeah, I think when you start looking at some of the guys that they're still in on, um, you know, certainly the defensive line position is where we're going to pay attention now, defensive end and linebacker. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, uh, Ed Ogeron, Kevin Steele, Les Miles is going to be over in Florida going to see C.C. Jefferson today, try to get him on campus for an official visit. And then also, you know, you're looking at a guy like Arden Key that we really haven't talked a lot about since he took his official visit. They're going to go visit him tomorrow, have the last, uh, you know, face-to-face with him before the, uh, the, the, the end of the recruiting period. So I think LSU is positioning themselves really nicely there. Again, you're looking at uh, a couple of big-time guys that LSU still has left on the board. David Feaster uh, made some news up in North Louisiana earlier this week on uh, on a radio show up there. Uh, he hopped on with after further review. Matt Moscona yesterday afternoon kind of backtracked, uh, kind of backtracked off of a couple of his comments. Uh, he was Brandon Harris's high school coach. Um, look, he, he was telling Harris that he was urging him to get out of Baton Rouge and transfer. Um, You made a pretty good point this morning. It might be one of the first signs of maturity we've seen from the sophomore quarterback uh, in Harris now down here in Baton Rouge. Yeah, it was the buzzword during football season. He needs to grow up a little bit. He needs to show some maturity. So for him staying at LSU, fighting through this, and working hard to be the starting quarterback at LSU, I think it's a positive sign for LSU fans that he is, in fact, showing some maturity. Last night, LSU um, gets an ugly one, but they, they get a win. Jalen Patterson um, not playing. Josh Gracie's ex- some extended minutes. Aaron Epps uh, got on the floor for the Tigers. But really what you saw was the bigs. Martin and Mickey uh, controlling the paint, paint defensively. Both those guys with six blocks. Um, Jarrell Martin with a double-double, 10 points, 11 boards, six blocks of his own. So uh, off to Mississippi State they go after another win. Seven-man rotation last night with Jalen Patterson out. Uh, you, you, you put uh, Epps in there, like you mentioned. So I think that, that there's some good po- there's some positives that come out of this, most notably being that uh, when you didn't play your best, you got to win in conference against a very physical team. No doubt about it. Monday through Friday, 7 to 9 a.m., Kalad and the Prince. Hit us on Twitter at 1045 ESPN. Jimmy Chester, ladies, still off the market.